Nathan McAndrew, first of all, what a win. I mean, comprehensive as you like tonight. Yeah, it's obviously a, a great win for the team. Essex are obviously a, an incredibly strong team themselves. So to, to come here um, to Chelmsford, which is a, a tough place to play, they're you know, really hard to beat on their home pitch. So to, yeah, to put in a performance like that is really pleasing. Let's talk about the game because 111 for one after 11 overs mm. we were thinking well maybe 200 what, what was the feeling amongst the Sussex lads at that stage yeah we probably didn't start all that well with the ball I think they batted well but we were a little bit sloppy probably just a couple too many easy sort of boundary balls and and a bit sloppy in the field as well but I thought we did a really good job of, of clawing it back as you said I think Probably um, the power play was by far the easiest time to bat for both sides. I think we saw that with you know how aggressive we were in the power play as well. But the wicket was a little bit too paced, so you know slow balls were quite effective. Once the field went back, it was a bit easier to defend. But yeah, with the new ball, um, obviously only two fielders back in the power play, it was it was coming onto the bat, and um, so I was naturally probably expecting to go for a few runs. But yeah, I think um, we probably just started to communicate and execute a bit better um, come that sort of eleventh over, and, and did a really good job to just keep taking wickets throughout from there which helped stop the run rate you picked up two in two and all of a sudden it's strange how the momentum in these games can change so quickly yeah 100 percent. i think that's you know one of the biggest things i've seen in in you know t20 cricket over here wickets are so important with the size of the boundaries it's quite different to bowling back home you know over here wickets are probably far bigger focus back home um, even if batters get set just with the bigger boundaries or you know bigger grounds as it's a lot easier to defend as a bowler so you don't really have to think about wickets you're just thinking about trying to not go for boundaries and and create scoreboard pressure and then the wickets will come whereas over here you you can't really just even if you bowl well the boundary is so small that you're probably just going to go for 10 and over almost but if you're able to take wickets throughout you can that's the only real way to to stop the boundaries over here if a batter gets set over here it's unless you absolutely nail six perfect Yorkers there's you know you're going to go for boundaries so um, looking to take more wickets and be a bit more aggressive and you know except that you're going to go for runs in the process but looking to take wickets um, is crucial over here to, to slowing the run rate. I was impressed by the Sussex fielding as well tonight I mean Jack Carlson took a couple of catches there's good chases in the field as well. Yeah, I think it's been a real focus for us as a group. We're, we're a young group, which you know often is is not the best set up for T20 cricket. It is such an experienced person's game, but um, you know the, it's just makes it even more impressive what some of our younger players are doing. Is you know they've been taking some really take it to some really strong opposition, um, playing really fearless cricket, which is amazing. But yeah, definitely fielding is is one thing that you know young players have, have usually got. They've got that spring in their step. They've got that athleticism. Their knees and their back aren't quite um, hurting as like as some of the other guys on the circuit. So, yeah, there's there's a, a real fresh sort of exuberance around the squad and and just a couple of just genuinely good athletes. So that helps. Um, you know, we got we got a really good um, fielding fielding group that sort of patrol the boundaries and yeah, they've been buzzing around. That's a been a real focus for us. Tell us a bit about that power play. I'm not sure I've anything seen anything like that. Yeah, it was um, some really clean hitting, but I, I think the boys played good shots as well. Like, obviously, the ball was in the air, so, you know, they were getting after it. But, um, yeah, that was what we spoke about in, in the middle uh, of the innings break then. Husey just said, um, the, you know, the, in particular, Rossington and Elgar, who, who got through their power play, they just played good shots. They moved around the crease a little bit, but they were, you know, playing good controlled shots and just making the most of the hard ball. So, um, yeah, they, they usually just spoke um, quite briefly and quite shortly, but just that the guys who played the best looked like they played just good cricket shots and, you know, just with the size of the boundaries, they got value for their for their runs. Um, so, yeah, that was that was the focus. And, you know, as, as much as the ball was flying over the rope, it's easy to probably think that they were just trying to, to slog, but I, I think they played some really good cricket shots and uh, it was, you know, clearly some value for runs there. Four wins out of five, but it's a great start for Sussex. But I know at the end, you know, there's some shake hands, no sort of running around the pitch with huge congratulations. No, we've got a game tomorrow night as well. So, I mean, I think that's just the nature of the beast over here, the schedule. It's sort of, you know, you're on to the next one straight away. So it's, um, you know, win, enjoy this win as, as it is now. Um, we'll have a feed and then we're back on the bus. And then, yeah, mine goes to Surrey tomorrow. It's obviously another big game. Um, we had a good performance against them at the Oval uh, a couple of weeks or a week ago. So I've got no doubt they'll be, you know, wanting to try and get us one back in, at our place. So, yeah, it's obviously, you know, you'd love a, you'd love a couple of days to celebrate this one. Who knows? But um, yeah, that's that's T20 career. That's the English schedule. You're, you're on to the next one. So, yeah, um, I, I think that's, you know, it's a, a bit of a mindset change from last year. I think there's almost an expectation to win. It's, I think it's kind of the new Sussex in a way. You know, it's obviously been a, a couple of tough years for the club in the past. Um, but I think last year we saw, you know, in particularly the Red Bull team really changes fortune and we still you know pretty average last year in the t20s but a very young team and and 
was a probably a learning year for the, for the group, and I've been amazed to see how you know just how in, incredibly quickly some of the our young players have really taken to T Twenty cricket because it's it's not an easy game for young players. There's so much happening. There's so much to process mentally. Um, and it, it does often take time to, to build that. And, um, but they've been playing some really good cricket in the championship uh, to start with, to start the season. I feel like probably they're just coming in with a bit of momentum. They're, they're feeling good about themselves. They've been playing good cricket. They come into white ball and, and they're playing really fearless cricket and, and, you know, they're getting away with it. So, you know, why shouldn't they be confident? Where does that change come from? Is that from the coach? Is it from Tamal? What, what do you put that change down to? I think farby has been huge for the group. Um, yeah, I, I can't speak about the previous years. I, I wasn't here, but you know, my first year last year, um, just seeing Farby's influence and, and knowing him from my time at Warwickshire the year before, he's he's a hard nosed character. You know, he expects to win. He doesn't doesn't come here to make up the numbers. And um, you know, to turn up to a team who'd not won a game in Red Bull cricket for two years before that. Um, that's you know that's not an easy situation and I think you know losing can be a habit winning can be a habit Um, and and good teams know how to win Um, it was clearly a really young inexperienced group and and he's I think his direction has been huge Um, you know he came in and from day one um, it was about winning games of cricket and I don't think that was something that those boys had expected you know they just had two years of losing and that you know that becomes a bit of a culture in a way so I think Farby's been huge for the group um, and, and for the club in general, just bringing in a, you know, a real, we expect to win and we're going to win games. And, and you could see that last year, the confidence and starting to build that through Red Bull. It wasn't quite there in 2020, uh, in 2020 cricket last year, but um, as we've seen, that you know, they've taken another leap forward in, in Red Bull cricket on top of the league and, and you know, pushing for promotion. And um, yeah, we're off to a good start in T20 cricket as well.